right, it's Andy here. I'm fishing with Andrew today. We're up a creek and we've already put the crab pots in and caught a bunch of fish. So it's a, it's yeah, a bit, bit overcast. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew's barrow, he's got. So yeah, we, we've got a nice, nice bunch of fish. Um, hope, hoping for some crabs later on. Um, and yeah, I'm sure we'll see. see some, <laughs> stop it now. <laughs> so yeah, keep watching. There's, yeah, there's some good fun today. <laughs> Andy's fishing. Oh, just went down. They always go down with... Oh, oh, there's his tail. Nice big crocodile. But he is going down. There he is, he's come back up. That's... Yeah, that's... Fairly big croc. Look at him. There he goes, going under again. The thing you can't see is you can't see the last 50 centimetres of him. Yeah, he's gone. So here's a fun thing for me today. I'm fishing the Concept 4, which is left or right-handed, and then the Shimano, which is the um, the other hand. So I'm, I'm casting with, with both hands at um, yeah, different times. <laughs> Should be fun. There'll be a cod in there. You watch. And those logs there. There's, there's something underneath that, that branch there. See it? Oh! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cod. See that under there? Double up. Actually, this isn't bad, this cod. Oh, oh Barra. You just missed a Barra. <laughs> it's close. Yeah, yeah. And he was right, right where I said, too. Let's see if he's come back. Yeah. Mr. Black Spot Cod and Andrew is going to hopefully get a Barra. No, not going to get him. All right, we'll let this guy go. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a go with the prawn. Here we go. Off you go, cod. Oh, got him. Yes. This is the one that Andrew missed, and it's the cod. <laughs> I thought it might have been the barramundi. <laughs> no, this this guy's actually smaller. It's not bad chew on the cod, eh? There you go. Undersized, though. That is undersized. Off you go. That went all the way down. Yeah. yeah. I think he actually ate it on the drop. What is the go with you not making any noise? There we go, big dusty mate. Come on. Yeah. Grab your net. You want the net? You might. Andrew's supposed to be making yeah. noise when he catches a fish and he's got a monster flathead. A crocodile. Yeah. There we go. There you go. That is huge. You were supposed to yell again. Uh, I was yeah. pulling it over a stick and I was yeah, yeah, it over. I wasn't quite sure. Yeah. Let's, uh, we'll get a look at him. That's a that's a monster fish, Andrew. Oh, nice one, Andrew. What did we measure it at? Uh, 69, I think it was. 69 centimetres, yep. Oh, and, yep. Minimum is 40, maximum 75. But uh, I think Andrew wants to let it go. We'll let this one go? Yep, yep. <laughs> she should be fine. All these big ones are girls, and yeah, we we'll just let them let them go. There it goes, off into the deep. Nice work, Andrew. Thanks, mate. <laughs> oh, he slimed me. <laughs> oh, he slimed me. Oh. They often do. They just grab it and then they just sit there. Oh, got him. Yes. I mean, that's another flathead. It didn't. Oh, that cod. Cod dropped it. Yeah. He um, just sat there. So I'll just show you the, the prawn I'm using. It's like a, um, I think this is a tsunami uh, live shrimp, about three inches long. And um, I just tuck the, tuck the hook in there and it's completely weedless. What I like is when you're going up here and there's like a big mud flat and there's one little tiny thing like a stick or a drain or something and you pull the jack off it. That's what I like. Those spots that you don't expect fish. Or you do expect them, but you're just not sure because it's such a small little thing. Oh. See it? Yeah, it shot out and it's cutting it off. Oh, that was a nice thump. Got him, yes! That's amazing. Oh, what do we got? Cod. Another cod. I am the cod king today. There's a black spot. 
Not a bad one. I'd say still undersized, but nice cod. Hey, Mr. Cod, look at you. Look how handsome you are. Nice. Are you getting close to legal? Okay, off you go, Mr. Cod. Grab yours. Yeah. See, he hit it and just sat there. He didn't. He didn't take off or anything. I wasn't sure if I had him or not. That one's your sand. Yeah. Oh, I almost caught that. Called that for a barrel the way it hit. Or maybe I even did. Oh look, there's a flathead just took off then. See the dust? Yeah. All right, there he was. Season. Yep, got him. <laughs> oh, another cod maybe. Oh, I don't want to be cod king anymore. You are the cod. King, I don't cod want to king. be cod king. You this, are the master this king. is an estuary cod. Orange spots all over him. Oh, oh I've caught, how many, these are caught now, four of these? I wouldn't, I wouldn't Not counting? <laughs> oh, jeez. That's a monster fiddler crab over here, look at him. Yeah, biggest one I've seen for ages. There's that. Fiddler crab we just spotted. He's huge. His um his nipper is bigger than his body. That's pretty wild. Look at the eye stalks on him. I'll see if I can zoom right in. A little bit shaky there. Look at that. That's a cool critter. Is that the one you were talking about up there? The bigger one. Yeah. He's cool too. Look at him. Look at that. Back and there's one up here on the tree. Yeah, there's plenty around. Cool. What's that big splash I just heard up there? What tree stone are you talking about? This is the sort of spot we're looking for. Dirty water coming out of a gutter. Mm. Oh, Barra! <laughs> Little Barra. Oh, well, this is really odd, this rod. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I'm good. He's undersized. Oh, I'm not used to using a rod with the, the handle on this side. Oh, I can't believe it. Jeez. Yeah, that lure's right up on the surface. V52 bomber. Alright, we'll just lift him in. He's um, probably 55 maybe. He's got a bit of weight on him. What do you reckon, Andrew? What's your guess? 50? I'm going a little bit bigger, maybe 50. Yeah, I don't know. I said 55. Yep, 56. And he needs to be 58. So, I mean, I'm, I was going to let him go anyway, but um, yeah. Beautiful little fish. Hey, look, Andrew. I got a barramundi. Alright. Yeah, nice little fish. What I missed before was about half that size. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll let him go. I'll show you the lure I got him onto. Okay. Off you go, little fella. There he goes. So probably one of the, the most classic barramundi lures is the B-52. Who are they made by, Andrew? Reedy's, yeah, Reedy's B-52, yep. So, yep, still doing the job. Been around for, I don't know, 20 years or something, but still a great barrel lure. Not going down at all. There you go. I'm on. He's on. Oh, look oh. at the size of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him. What's the electric? Little, yeah. little guy. Nice one, Andrew. <laughs> you probably don't even want to measure that one, do no, we? No, mate. No. <laughs> no, this is a good one. There you go. But well, we're getting a few fish, it's um, just starting to come down heavy rain and uh, yeah, the sand flies a bit nasty. What do you think about the sand flies, Andrew? Oh, thanks mate. <laughs> They're lovely, aren't they? Oh, shocking. Black dots <laughs> everywhere, you should see it. Yeah, yeah. We'll get rid of this fish and then I'll show you some sand flies. <laughs> yep, beautiful. Show us the back of your hand there. Oh, black dots, look at them all. Yeah, they're, they're all sand flies, all those little, little dots there and they sting and carry on and just watch your rod there too. Yeah. Lovely day we're having here. But you know, we're catching fish, so. Yeah, What's that? I should have a go here. Yeah, there's a little toadfish just there. This is uh, 
very odd fishing this way because I'm used to winding with this hand and um, it's, uh, it's the oddest feeling. <laughs> So it's um, yeah, really good looking. We've got a nice drain here with dirty water coming out and a stick. I reckon if I go between them, I'm in with a good chance. Right there. Come on, fish. Maybe not. Off you go, Andrew. Lots of little jelly prawns jumping around in there. Sometimes you just have to keep peppering a spot until you wake the fish up. It's um, quite cool at the moment. Raining, overcast. Oh, I'm quite hungry, I might have to make some noodles. So in, in the last time, last time I went fishing with you, yeah. a few few of my fans thought I was being really mean to you and nasty. Yeah. Hey? Really? Yeah. So, I have to be really nice to Andrew today. You're always <laughs> like that, what can I say? <laughs> Your personality. We just, we just like fishing, I'm, gonna, I'm almost going to hit your spot there. So I'm, I'm that nice that that's as close as I'm going to get to that spot. Really? And Andrew's going to catch a bar out of it. You've, you've probably ruined it. <laughs> yeah, I probably have ruined it. But the truth is, Andrew and I fish together a lot. And we just muck around and have fun. So it's all in good fun. You better cast in there, otherwise I'm going to cast in there. Go, go, go a little bit to the right there, between those two rocks. A little one. Yeah. Perfect, that's it. Yep, hold the rod tail right. Right there. No. Oh, I'll hold it again. Well, I didn't bring much lunch today, so I'm just cooking up some, some noodles with the, the jet boil. Pretty easy. Very convenient, this, this little cooker. I like it very much. Where's the clicker? There we go, it's going. See if you can catch a fish while I cook my lunch, Andrew. <laughs> sure, mate. Actually, count how many casts you've had. That's two now. Two casts. We'll see how many casts it takes to boil this um, about a oh, cup and a half of water. And then there's some rocks just around the corner here as well. Ooh, we'll get into that snag. How many is that? Four or five? I reckon you'll get 10 casts before this is boiling. Maybe. <laughs> Six. Oh, yep. Got him. Yep. You got him. Oh, I'm going to have to film you. Uh, what is it? Oh, hey? Cod. Cod? Almost a cod on cast number six. <laughs> oh, hang on, she's boiling. Almost. Look at the steam coming out. So, seven casts I reckon you got in there. That's pretty crab, quick. See the crab up here? Oh, oh, nice big mud crab. I'm busy cooking my lunch. Oop, hang on, turn this off. Look at that. That is boiled. That's a huge crab. Where did you go? Hey, you're on that, yeah, he's just on that, on that edge there. Yeah. Yeah. How easy is this lunch on the go? Probably not the most tasty thing I've ever cooked, but <clears throat> it's, um, it's nice. Hot meal out on the water. Took seven casts to heat up the water. <laughs> oh, he's going, he's going. Did you get him? I reckon you missed him. You missed him. Oh, there goes Andrew's crab dinner. <laughs> Still got the crab pots to go and collect. No, he's, he's gone. He's gone. He's not going to have that. I'm really hungry. And I know I'm missing out. <laughs> Got him, yeah. nice. Oh, no, got, him. Oh. No, got him, got him, dropped him, got him, dropped him. What is it? What do we got? What do we got, Andrew? It's making a lot of rattles. Oh, cod. Nice one. Oh, oh, and released at the boat. Yeah, a lot of people. Oh, there you go. I just scared one. 
See that? I'm pretty sure I just touched him on the back. Did you see that tree there? Yeah. Did you fish along it? Yeah, I had two shots at it. Oh, got him! <laughs> I thought he missed it! <laughs> I thought he missed it! Bloody hell! Yeah, he, he did, oh, miss, did it. miss it! He did miss it! Nice yellow, mate. You want yeah. Yellow? Oh, I don't know. It's size enough. We're gonna. Well, we're gonna have to get him out. He didn't even hit the lure. He just. Or has it gone through his gills? He might have gone through his gills. I don't know. Definitely net him. I want to get that lure back. That was wild. Cause I saw the lure and it wasn't wasn't in his mouth. Got him. Here you go. Thanks, Andrew. Let's see where that lure ended up. That was very strange. Passes the grippers there. Around the back of his gills. Oh, stop it. No, he did not even eat that lure. <laughs> that did not go into his mouth. I reckon he deserves to live this one. Let's see how big he is. 64 and a bit centimetres. I don't want to eat him. I want to eat mud crabs later on. Oh, 60. What did I say? 64? 64. Nice barra, hey? Eh? Off you go, buddy. You did not even eat the lure. That was that was bizarre. I'll have to watch the. Whoop, there he goes. I'll have to watch the replay on that. So, same lure. And that was the weirdest thing. Like, I saw him have a, have a hit at it. Then the lure was like 6, 8 inches to one side. And. He, I don't know. I think I think the line got caught round round the side of his mouth, and yeah, it was it was very strange for me. You sure you just didn't jig him on the side? Of his I head? might have. I might you have. You did see him first beforehand. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't know. When he hit it, he um he grabbed it. You sure it was a grab? Yeah. Wasn't a hit on the side. And he took off. Yeah. Oh, stung. look at this. Look at this coming up here. There's some serious timber up there. And drain. You fish that one. Fish that one. There's some deep hole up there. Let's get out and walk. No. <laughs> That's a crazy idea. I'd get one or two steps in. Oh, got him. Yep, yeah, there. Little guy. I called it. These trees had to have fish on them. And we're, um, yeah, we're right up the top of this creek. Um, pretty much stops here for us. Ooh, nice one. Yeah, little guy. This guy's around the 50. I'm calling that. Not healthy? Hey? Yeah, he's nice. Nice little fish. Yeah, he's about 50 odd. Maybe a bit more. Oh, look, Andrew. Another fish. For the barra, mate. It's in the barra. <laughs> it's in the barra today. Yeah, and look how shallow we are. That's, um, I could walk across there. Anyway, let this guy go. And yeah, he came out of right there in that tree. Hey, off you go, buddy. Yep, he's good. He's happy. Is that a, that's all fish in there? Look at it. It's all archer fish. No, no, up there. Look at them all. Hundred of them. You go. Look at oh, the size of those archer fish. Monsters. You can get one of those. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, On mine. Oh, I didn't even hit it. I felt a touch of something. Going, oh, little mangrove jack. <laughs> that wasn't the one that had a look at it. That one that had a look at it, he was like silver about that long. Oh, that's a touch. Got him, yes, Barrett. Oh, I dropped him. There you go. Oh, that was a barra. See that? Yep, got it. That's a little <laughs> little jack. Oh, I'm loving this spot. <coughs> Barra's jacks, Barra's jacks. Oh, he's not bad. Look at the colour on him. Bright red. Yeah. Look at that. Lovely little fish. Hey. Yeah, I reckon slow your prawn down a bit. Off you go. Oh, got him. Missed him. <laughs> oh, yeah, got him. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, interesting fishing. But you can see that stick there, aren't you? Yep, yeah, got him, got him. Oh, a cod? I think it's a cod. Yeah, that's a cod. Yep. Oh, we missed all the barrows. Oh, there he is. Quick release. I don't even let's go. You haven't. Oh, got him, yes. Oh, flathead. Buddy, you want to go one? Yeah. A little guy. A little flathead. You want it for dinner? Yeah, I was going to take a barrow. Yeah, that'll do. I mean, I don't want him. Oh, a barrow for dinner. <sighs> He's definitely legal. I'm donating this fish to Andrew. <laughs> well, you did well. You got you got that big one, so I'm just going to give you this little one. So just to talk about this snag a little bit, you can see the snag here, and that's where we saw a lot of uh, archer fish, bait fish. But the thing is, they're actually down here. The, um, the trunk of the tree goes from this root ball down here, and then the canopy is is in the water there. So, yeah, interesting. Always learning learning something when you're out in the water here. And uh, we're going to try and catch a couple more fish off that. It's, uh, it's a good spot. Yeah, it's busting. Oh! Still on? Yeah. I'm, not... I'm on, I'm on! Yeah, good on you. <laughs> oh, little barrows. Little barrow for Andrew. Nice work, Andrew. Yeah. Probably just under 50, that one. <laughs> What's that look? <laughs> that look is uh, maybe, maybe touch 40. No, no, he's definitely... Well, actually, no, he's like 45. There's Andrew's barra. Probably just under 50. Give or take. Yeah, we, um, we persisted at that spot for, for, I don't know how long, what, 20 minutes? Good 20 minutes, yeah. Yeah, got, got, got little Jack, got barra, got cod, got flathead. And, uh, yeah, nicely done, Andrew. All right, let him go, Andrew. Oh, Andrew. It's a bit late. This has already jumped. Yeah, you're close. Get a net. Dark, I don't want. There you go. Oh, I just haven't got it. There you go. Something there, got out of cast. Oh, straight away, missed him, got him, yes! Oh, using the wrong hand, didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, wasn't a bad fish. Oh, yep, yeah. straight away, there we go. I think it's, oh, Jack, nice Jack. Oh, there could be a couple in there, Andrew. That is a nice Jack. That is a nice Jack, yeah. Hold up your barra. There we go, my Jack, which obviously looks bigger than it is, <laughs> and Andrew's, Andrew's nice barra. The Jack's um, like a centimetre and a half under, and I think yours is a centimetre and a half over. Certainly was. Yep, so. 60, just Six, 60, nearly 61. 61, yep, so. 61. Jack's going back, Andrew's eating barra for dinner, and I'm going to probably eat the flathead. <laughs> nice work. Good call. Good day, after all. Oh, there you go, Mr. Jack. So, um, yeah, really, really good day. Um, the, the wind and the rain sort of stopped and plenty of these guys around. Middle of June. No, July. Winter. I'll go right, you go left. And you go right, I'll go left. Oh, got hit straight away. And he's on, he's on. Oh. Oh. Flathead. <laughs> I, I had like messed up line in here. And uh, yeah, he hit it. <laughs> I felt the whack. I'm like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Oh, oh. Not too bad. Oh, you got him? Oh, Missed him. Yeah, uh, yeah no, he's, he's not a bad one, but I've got one, so I'll just let him go. Uh, one fish a day is all I want. And some mud crabs. Mud crabs would be nice too. Oh, I'll just let him go. There we go. He's about oh, very close to 50. I'm going to maybe say 48, 49. Hey, off you. <laughs> he just jumped out of my hand. Oh, that wasn't the fish that I thought would come out of there, but I did. I cast it right up on the on the edge of the bank over there. So yeah, oh, I was hoping for a jack or a barramundi, mangrove jack or a barramundi. Yep, and that was that little prawn again. I've only used two lures. It's the prawn and the gold bomber. So that's all you need. Let's um, let's see. 
Have you gone there yet? No, I'm still working the back end. Oh well, <laughs> I'll just jump in here then. You're just jumping ahead, mate. Cool. Okay. Bringing that last flathead, that was the fastest hit I've ever had. <laughs> I didn't even click it into gear, and I had like this line hanging out everywhere. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a decent one. Oh, there you go, Barra. Oh, oh I missed him. I too bagged it. Oh, and again, he got him. <laughs> Got him. That's a jack. That was, a... that was a jack. That was a nice jack. Oh, and the jack just ate something else. Oh, this is on. This is on. Here he is. He's, oh, he just refused me. Just refused me. Oh, that was so cool. Teabagging Barra and the jack nailed it. Oh, I think we've missed. We've missed. I think we've missed those two. That was a good Barra and a very, like a big, big jack. That's the biggest jack we've seen today. I got excited. <laughs> I got excited. I got all fogged up. I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited. Oh, that was so cool. There were some little trevallies from around before as well. Oh, you got him. You got him. You got him. Pull him out. Is he in? He's in. He's got me. He's got you. <laughs> he's off. He's off. What do you got, prawn? He's, he's off. He's off and let him swim. That was him. Andrew got done by the barra that did him before. Either way, it looks good. Must be slipping here. Yep, got him. Oh, and then it's cod. Yep, there we go, cod. Oh, there we go. Another black spot cod. Off you go, buddy. Where's your barra come out of in the middle? Mm. Oh, that's a good barra! Oh, dropped him! <laughs> that's the barra for the day. Andrew just missed him. Got it. Got it, mate. Got it. He was 75, probably even 80, that one. Oh, that's a good barra! Oh, dropped him! Oh, so close. That was, uh, yeah, pretty good fishing we had all day, wasn't it? Pretty good, all right. Yep, so uh, we let, we put the crab pots in at, uh, I think, 8 o'clock this morning. It's now 3. So hopefully we'll get some uh, mud crabs as well. But I'm definitely going to eat that uh, flathead. And Andrew will eat his barramundi. <laughs> hopefully we'll get some crabs as well. Let's go and, let's go and check them. And reverse. Two very small crabs and some jellyfish. That'll eat. Uh, I think he's undersized. Only just though. So. Oh, a little bit. He's got tiny little claws. Uh, bit heavier. Yep, full of jellyfish. Yep, last last of my pots. I don't think I'm going to be eating crab anytime soon. Ugh. So far, it's been little ones and jellyfish. Oh, almost fell over there. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, it's a female. Yep, that looks like a female. See if Andrew does any better. Three fee four no three females, a little male. I reckon that's a little male up there. What's that one? Uh, one little tiny male and a female. And a nice stick. You got a stick in there, Andrew? Is he big enough? Oh no, that's a female. Two females. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold my breath. I could. <gasps> no, I can't hold my breath. Sure. Yeah. All females today. What do we got? And nothing. Hey, something. Hey? Yeah, something's been in there. Your bait's half gone. I reckon they've been checked. As you can tell, it's the next day. I um, gone to this nice little beach here and set up my kitchen just over here. Let's go and have a look. So we're just 
literally just on the on the beach and uh, here I've got my little cooker set up got the flathead and uh, we're gonna do it fish and chips Andy style it's um, a little bit special because it's it's got an extra bit of flavor in there so I, I got inspired when I did the calamari the other day or the uh, the squid um, yeah I've never never actually crumb fish properly like this so I thought oh, it would be nice to do a crumb like that but um, just an extra little twist on it and it should be really yummy so I'll show first you. thing I want to do before we even worry about the fish is get the potatoes cooking because they'll take the, the longest time to get cooking we'll just cut them into nice big long potato chips just, just like that real simple nothing fancy for our chips because these will take quite a lot longer to cook than the fish the fish will be be nice and quick so we've got a pot and a pan I'll do the uh, the chips in the pan and depending on how long they take we uh, we might do the fish in the pan or we might do the fish in the in the pot but uh, yeah just put some uh, rice bran oil in there this has a quite a high melting point uh, sorry high smoking point so it's good and someone pointed out that last time I was cooking I had the gas bottle sitting like flat which is not recommended if it's a full gas bottle. This one's very empty, so hopefully we'll get the cooking done. But yeah, the liquid should not go through the hose. Anyway, someone just pointed that out. We just want these to cook nice and slow. I don't wanna, yep, yeah, there we go. Yep, they're gonna go. I don't want these burning or anything like that, so nice slow cook on these. Something I hadn't really thought about was the size of this flathead, because that's only a you know, 25 centimeter chopping board. So I'm going to have to do it on the plastic bag here. Now I've already gutted it because I caught it yesterday and yeah I didn't want it to spoil so if you, if you want to keep it overnight you should definitely gut it. Now the best way to remove a fillet is to go under the, the uh, pectoral fin there, cut up in towards the head, there we go, till you hit the, the spine and then cut down the spine. Okay, nice and easy, just all the way down towards the tail. Nice, nice fillet there, and we'll do the other side as well. There we go, two nice, nice fillets. And we'll put this in the ocean, and you never know, we might get a shark come in and eat this before we finish the cook. There we go. Those chips look like they could probably use a, a turn, or yep, they're, they're, they're probably halfway there. That's good. That is very good. So to remove the skin, we, we just cut down here so we've got something to hang on to, and then run the knife parallel to the cutting board. It's a little hard to get started, but we'll get there. There we go. And then you grab the skin, and you slide the knife down the fish. So, and there's usually a set of bones here, a bit of, they're called pin bones. You'll feel them by, by rubbing your hand along there, or finger. And we go down each side of those, and that should be all the bones taken out. We want, then what we want is some little fish fingers. We'll do, do them about that size. So there's three big juicy fish fingers out of each fillet. Alright, I'll just do the other one and then we're ready to show you the secret ingredient or tip that I've got. <sighs> so what we've got here, we've got some plain flour and beaten egg and panko crumb. Now what makes this special is we're going to add some coriander seed ground or ground coriander seed. Quite a bit in there actually. We want, yeah, that's about two two good teaspoons, maybe a bit more. Then we've got some uh, ground cumin seeds. We want at least two two good teaspoons, maybe, maybe even three. I like this spice. And then some black pepper. Black pepper. Now, 
silly me forgot to bring cutlery because I thought I'm having fish and chips on the beach I don't need knives and forks but um, yeah. I need something to stir this uh, this mixture and you can see there it's not white anymore it's got a got a nice color in there and what this does is uh, twofold when you when you're doing uh, fish and chips the the flour dries the fish so that the egg will stick but because we've put in spices and uh, it's, it's basically a dukkha mix so dukkha spices um, I did this episode in an overnight trip if you haven't seen it it's a really good episode um, dukkha crusted fish go and have a look at that but uh, yeah it adds flavor to the fish and it's it's really simple you just coat the fish on both sides into the egg wash like that I'm gonna get dirty fingers here that's it there we go and then into the breadcrumb. So the breadcrumb is actually a panko crumb, which is breadcrumb. Uh, sorry, bread breadcrumbs without with no crust. So there we go. There's our first piece. And whoop, yep, those potatoes are almost done. So we'll hurry up. And the sun is just about setting. We should be able to finish this off just as the sun is going down below the horizon. We'll coat, coat the whole thing every all around. Look at those fish fingers, they're going to be delicious. Oh, Dukkha crusted fish and chips on the beach at sunset. Oh, I, don't, I quite like cooking at sunset because it's, it's nice and cool. It's, uh, it's so nice to be here. It's, um, everything's just good about it. Okay, those chips are ready. Oh, they're nice and, nice and crispy actually. Let's get them out. Very nice. And I love this light too, the, the late afternoon sun setting light. It is, uh, yeah, really nice. Actually that heat will keep the chips warm. There we go, nice. All right, let's drop the fish in. Woohoo, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at that. Oh, we'll do, we'll do three at a time. Ah, look at that, you can see the panko going going crispy brown already. And you don't need to have the, the pan full of oil. This is this is actually enough. Like you do half half and half. And um, you know when to turn the fish when you can see down the side here and there's a white it, it, the, the meat will cook and it'll turn white and you'll see it maybe a bit less than half and that's when I turn it over because the heat that's in the outside of the fish will keep cooking the fish so you don't need to go all the way to half you can do just a bit less than half but uh, let's uh, oh, look at that sunset that is spectacular oh how nice and uh, probably these things these little fillets here maybe not even a minute maybe a minute on, on each side let's turn that one over Look at that, that might even be a little bit too brown. We'll turn the heat down just a little bit. Always adjust your cooking as you're going. That's nice and brown. There we go. Oh, they are yummy. Mmm. Oh, fish and chips. I'm going to try one of these chips. Mmm. On the beach. Mmm. Crunchy chippies. Yeah, they'll finish. They'll finish cooking on the plate. Look at that. Mm. Fish fingers, beautiful. Let's get the last ones in. There we go. Now I'm not going to wait for those to finish because. I'm hungry. We'll get some nice tomato sauce. Oh, there we go. You can't have fish and chips without tomato sauce. Fish and chips. Woohoo! Yum yum! How nice is that? Ooh, let's try this golden one. Try it without tomato sauce. I always always like to try things without extra sauces. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, nice, nice dukkha flavour in there. Oh, tomato sauce, look at that. Mm. 
Mm. Ah, it's a shame I couldn't do this yesterday, but we, we got home really late at night. Mm. Mm, okay. It's almost been a minute and these guys are ready to turn. There we go. Ah. Beautiful. Very nice. That one I'll let go a little longer. He's a little bit on the thicker side. Very nice. Uh, mm, there goes the sum. Bye bye sum. Mm, just while I'm uh, thinking about it, one of my fans sent a message. Um, ooh, fish are going off here. I should have brought a fishing rod. Uh, one of my fans sent a message. His daughter is only two years old. And Apparently she's my biggest fan. I'm pretty sure she's my youngest fan. <laughs> I found I found that rather funny. Mm, I didn't think people as young as two were watching my videos, but it's really cool. I do try and make family content safe for everybody. Mm, and hopefully everybody likes these cook-ups. I'll just show you a quick little little snapshot of when I finish cooking it all. Look at that. That's delicious. Yum yum. There we go. That's that's the whole lot finished, all cooked up. Mmm. Very nice. Beautiful afternoon. People ask me what's in this. It's grape juice. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Ah, special grape juice. Mm, I quite like it. Uh, always, always goes well with fish. Mm. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of my new videos. I do them every week. If you want to see more right now, click the uh, the links above. Catch you next time.